1964 Singer Gazelle uh, in a very unusual colour of solid black, uh, which we believe was a special order colour. We'll check all that out and we'll put all of the, uh, the facts on that one in the description. And even more unusually, they are rare as an automatic, but this one has a column shift automatic. Everyone I've ever seen has been a floor shift car. General story behind this one um, comes on this plaque, which you'll see here. Um, so apparently they were ordered, 115 of them were ordered by the Lieutenant Governor of Bermuda. Um, the majority of them were sent over to Bermuda, but a few didn't make it, apparently including this one. Um, again, we'll check all that sort of stuff out. Um, nice story. It does come with boxes and boxes of history and trophies and all sorts of stuff from shows. Um, but in the video, we'll do the bodywork, have a look inside, and we'll get it fired up. But check the description. We'll detail everything we know about that. We'll start on this driver's side. We'll start on the front wing. We've got a little bit of sort of crazing in the paint behind the bumper there. You can just see it on the camera. Um, it doesn't look like it's corrosion or anything like that. It sort of looks like a bit of a reaction in the paint. And there's a very light scuff just a little bit further up. The arch itself is nice and sharp all the way around. It's on the correct uh, white painted steel wheels with a, with, a, with a chrome center caps. And it's on four very nice matching tires with loads of tread left. Continuing along the wing, you've got this stainless trim down the sides so on a normal two-tone car. This might be white, this might be red. Like I say, very rare, all black. It's nice and tidy along there. Got one little stone chip on the top of the wing there, but the rest of it is all good. Continuing our way down, around the screen on this side, there's no sign of any corrosion coming through along the bottom of the screen. There is one small stone chip just there. We'll have a look at the other side when we get around there. Not a bit of dirt there, but the rest of the top of the screen, all good. And then while we're up here, we'll have a look at the roof. Nice and straight, nice and flat. There's no ripples or dents in that. Inside the gutter is clean all the way down. All the glass on this side is nice and clear and bright as well. Chrome works very good. There's a tiny little bit of pitting in the handles, but it's not bad at all. Still perfectly presentable. Driver's door, nice and clean and tidy. I mean, it's a black car from the 60s, so it's sort of slightly different standard. Um, got a little scuff just here where it's, uh, it's been opened on something at some point. We've got a couple of little scratches on the bottom of the sill there. You can see the sill itself. Looks to be nice and straight all the way along there. You can see those scratches a bit closer up. And there's a little bit of paint flake just on the bottom there. It's had a bit of sealer along the, on the bottom of it as well. Continuing down this side of the car, rear arch. Nice and sharp all the way around. Another good wheel, tyre and hubcap. All your gazelle badges and everything in that section there. Again, nice and clean. You can see they're straight all the way down. Coming around on the back, both rear tail lights are bright and clear. These seams here can be a bit of a corrosion hotspot, but as you can see on this one, they're lovely and clear. They're not filled with build-up of paint or anything like that. Nice and tidy on that rear bumper. All your barging is good. You can take a guess where this thing spent most of its time. And then a little bit of crazing on the chrome work if you get really close, but generally pretty presentable. Small mark in the paint just here. Rest of the boot lid, all nice and tidy. Around the bottom of the screen is all good. And then round on the passenger side. Have a look down the side again, nice and straight. It's all good along the bottom here and in the arches. No real marks on that rear quarter note. On the pillar and along the top there, nice and tidy. Have another look at the roof from this side. Gutter is all good as well. Clean and clear on the glass on this side as well. All the seals look to be relatively new. No real marks to notice down the bottom here. And then if we have a look at the sill on this side. All the way along there. Nice and straight, nice and sharp all the way down. Nice and tidy on the passenger door. Now on the front wing, we've got a very small ding just here. Uh, and there's a little bubble in the paint just there. Front arch, which had a stone chip touched in there. The rest of the arch is sharp all the way around. And your final good wheel, tight and hub cap. Round up the front, again the bumper sits nice and straight. All the chrome work, it's pretty much the same all the way around. Tiny little bits of pitting here and there, but generally not bad. Grill's good. Normally these badges are a bit faded and worn out, but that one's quite good. All the glass on the lights is good too. The rest of the bonnet, got a couple of stone chips. 
And there's a small crack in the paint just behind the emblem there. And being black and a bit older, it could do with a bit of a polish. There's the odd little swirl here and there. Moving on to the interior. Black out outside, red inside. Nice and clean on the wood trim on the driver's door and the vinyl on the uh, on the door card. All the chrome on the inside is lovely condition. Nice bright red carpet. It's not ingrained with any dirt or anything like that. Wood on the dash, apart from what appears to be a little mark around the column, which you'll just see there. Looks to be very nice. A little bit of wear on the top of the steering wheel, but again, that's to be expected for the age. Like I say, column shift manual, uh, automatic. So particularly rare gearbox, that one. 80,813 miles on the clock. Again, we'll put in the description what we know as so far as service history and things like that go. Nice and clean and tidy on the driver's seat. It's nice and firm, it's not collapsed or anything like that. A little bit of wear on the bead here, and it has been stitched on this sec section here. So generally pretty presentable. On the driver's rear, again, the wood here is good. Door cards are nice, the backs of the seats are good. They've not been sort of kicked or abused. And the rear bench doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. Really, really good. Parcel shelf is nice. All the headlining is good. I think the boot, you get your spare wheel. This was filled with all those parts and stuff that are in those boxes. Got mats down uh, and an extra bit of carpet for protection, but the boot floor, apart from it, a bit of dust is really nice and clean. There's no sign of any trap moisture in there. Under the boot lid, again, all good. Rear passenger side, again, the wood on this side, nice and tidy. All the painted sections are good. Door shuts are nice and clean. There's not much else to say about the rear benches. Just as good as the other side, really nice and tidy. Not overly shiny from use or anything like that. And final door, lovely and clean and tidy on the wood. We've got your uh, supply and dealer sticker there, Clark Brothers, um, in Kings Lynn, which we know about. Again, we've got some history. I think we've actually got the original bill of sale, which is really nice. All gone on this side of the dash. Passenger seat, nice and tidy. You don't get Charlie to come with the car, unfortunately. Um, and it does look like the same thing. So the same thing that's happened on the driver's side. It's been stitched up on this section. Um, but it definitely doesn't spoil the seat. In the engine bay now. Nice and clean and tidy in there. Looks to be relatively standard and not messed with. Charlie's going to start it up for us. Been with us a couple of days. Starts on the button. With a little bit of choke and away it goes. Nice and smooth around the front. Nothing nasty flying out the back. Like I say, check the description. We'll detail what we know about this sort of history, the thing with the Bermuda connection, all that sort of stuff. It does come with this lovely show sign, whole load of trophies and boxes and boxes of paperwork. So there you go. Singer Gazelle, very rare in black, column shift automatic. Thank you.